all right so what is up everyone uh so i've already done uh, a video on some of the things i dislike about the z125 so now i'm here to do the video on the things i do like about it so if you haven't seen that video uh go to my channel go back one video you should find it and we'll get right into this one so one of the first things uh that i like about the z125 is how well it handles um, you wouldn't expect anything less from a machine like this such a short wheelbase small wheels uh, they just they handle amazing uh, we're about to hit some s curves right here that are uh or i say s curves we're gonna hit multiple 90 degree curves here in the next uh quarter mile of road and uh, it's just amazing handling if you're getting one of these to ride curvy back roads on you will not be disappointed at all looks like I won't be able to hit this one at too much speed with a mower in the way <clears throat> but anyway yes the handling on these bikes is amazing again you wouldn't expect anything less from something this size with this wheelbase and moving on from that is the value you know, this bike comes in a little cheaper than some of the other mini motos, your Grom. I and mean, the only thing it doesn't come in cheaper than is a Navi, but I don't, I mean, a Navi's kind of in the same category, but it's kind of a mix with a scooter. So, eh, you know, you choose there how you, you would categorize that. Um, but other than the Navi, you know, uh, the Kawasaki, comes in a little cheaper than the Grom, uh, way cheaper than the Monkey, and so yeah, uh, I mean it's probably not cheaper than, I don't know, a Benelli, what do they call it, the T135 or the 135T, but I mean as far as buying something from one of the big four Japanese companies, um, it's just really just Honda and Kawasaki making, you know, this, but anyways so yeah great value for money uh, if you're comparing this the monkey and the Grom this one's the cheapest uh, generally speaking new um, <clears throat> moving on from there it is easy to work on kind of again same thing as the other bikes in the class they're all air-cooled but you have to remember too that while some of us would like a little bit more performance out of this bike, and Kawasaki and Honda could build these mini motos to make more power, they could design up, you know, liquid-cooled little horizontal engine with the same mountain pattern to bolt up in these frames, and so the, the bike would be generally no different, and they could probably squeeze another five, six, seven horsepower out of 125 cc's of displacement if it was liquid-cooled, and maybe if they didn't have to be so strenuous with emissions, but it wouldn't be as easy to maintain, it wouldn't last as long, it may not be as reliable. So one thing you're getting with these small air-cooled bikes is assuming maintenance is done, you're getting um, good reliability and you're getting, talking about maintenance, it's easy to work on, it's easy to maintain. There's not a lot going on with these bikes. If you change the oil and you know, keep the air filter clean, change your oil filter, you should be good to go for a really, really long time. Even when you consider these bikes pretty much live at high RPM all the time, unless you're just city commuting in a really big city with really slow traffic. Right, moving on from that is the aftermarket. So there is good aftermarket support for the bike. Not as good as the Grom. Uh, that, nothing, I mean, the aftermarket for the Grom is just ridiculous. I don't. There may not be another bike on the market today that's got such big aftermarket support. Um, but for the Z125, it is very good. And the only complaint I have about the aftermarket uh, for the Z125 is the price of exhaust. Uh, other than that, though, most parts are well-priced, competitive with the similar aftermarket parts you would get for the other mini motos like the Grom or the Monkey. And uh, there's a lot to choose from. So... If you're wanting to stunt the bike out, there's plenty of parts to make that happen, both um, as far as, you know, like stunt cages, but also mechanically, 
upgraded clutches, things like that. Uh, there's plenty of parts out there for the bike, so it has great aftermarket support. And then the last thing I'll mention is just the bike as a whole is a very fun machine. You know, you if you have a bike that is a good bike, it's a good machine, it's fun to ride, people like it and enjoy it, you have to look at it as a whole. It's really hard to pinpoint one exact thing that makes a bike good. It's just the fact that it's, it's more than the sum of its parts. So it's hard to pinpoint any one thing that makes this bike great, but when you start tallying up and adding up all the small things, it's a fun bike. So it's fun to ride. There's no sense in having a motorcycle that isn't fun to ride. That's the whole point of owning a motorcycle, at least in America, because very few people uh, buy a motorcycle to commute on, may, maybe just because they don't have money for a car. Like, it, if you own a motorcycle in America, 99.999% chance that it's just for fun. You may commute on it to work, and you may do these other things on it, uh, in place of using it, you know, for your vehicle sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's for fun. So if the bike's not fun to ride, then, you know, what's the point? And in this case, the Z125 is very fun to ride. Yes, it could be faster. You know, yes, it could have more power. But anything, you know, you'd say that about any small bore bike, whether it be a Suzuki DR200 or a Yamaha XT250 or Honda Rebel 250. Like, everyone's always gonna say like, well, it'd be nice if it'd go five mile an hour faster or if it had five more horsepower. So, those arguments are kind of irrelevant. You, you should know what you're getting when you buy it and if that is what you're looking for and that is what you're wanting and that is what you think you'll have fun on, then if you go into it with that mindset, you're probably very likely to enjoy the bike. So, that is it for, I think that was five things, maybe four. But anyway, the things that I really like about the Z125, and I will catch y'all in the next one.